Hello everyone, this is Nighthawk here, and welcome back to the Nighthawk Variety Channel. We're here, you can watch videos such as gaming, vlogging, reactions, and so much more. If any of the following topics interest you, remember to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you guys get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now, let's begin. Well, welcome back to Marvel's What If. I know I haven't done one of these episodes in quite some time, and recently one of them is about to hit a thousand views, so I figured I'd make another one. <laughs> um, this one is kind of a more fan, well not fan favorite, but more of an interesting theory that I've kind of been having the last couple days for some reason. Mostly because I've been watching some Marvel movies because I've just had nothing to do. Um, the theory is, what if, uh, pfft, I almost said Captain America, what if Nick Fury was a scroll from 2014? Meaning that he would have to be a scroll ever, ever since 2014 to 2023, where we currently are in the MCU timeline. So, there are a few movies I'd like to actually go back and watch, such as uh, Captain Marvel, Iron Man 2, Avengers, Winter Soldier, and Age of Ultron, and Spider-Man Far From Home. Those are the six movies that I guess have Nick Fury speaking parts, or someone speaking to them, I guess. Um, but if you guys remember in Captain Marvel, Nick Fury says a uh, weird distinctive feature about himself that no one else could remember or that or could copy. Um, if toast is cut diagonally, he cannot eat it. Which is kind is just completely bizarre, but if you go back and watch Avengers Age of Ultron where Nick Fury shows up at uh, Hawkeye's house, you will notice that he is cutting toast diagonally or cutting... Well, he said he said he didn't say in half. He said diagonals, and you can see him cutting it diagonally and eating it, meaning that that is not Nick Fury. And he specifically said in Captain Marvel that no one calls me Nick, not Nicholas, just Fury. No one calls me by anything else, just Fury. So if everyone calls him by Fury, in all the movies he's been in, from Captain Marvel to the events that, that happened in Winter Soldier, then he's the real Nick Fury. But if people are talking to him in the movies, like the Avengers who know him, they'd be calling him Fury. But like, what if Maria Hill was calling, it, or has been calling him um, just Nick? So if someone calls him Nick, or he does something that doesn't seem Nick Fury-like, does that mean that he's been a scroll this whole time? That being said, <laughs> Basically, in um, Winter Sol or Captain America Winter Soldier, Nick Fury got attacked by uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, which were actually HYDRA agents. Um, and what they do is they kind of attack him to the point to where I think he dies or something. So that would have mean that the scrolls had, I guess, intel on him, heard about what happened, came down to Earth, picked him up, took him to his ship, took him to their ship, where... He, where Nick Fury was brought back to life, told uh, Talos what was happening, and sent uh, Talos and one of his, I think his wife down there to pose as Maria Hill and um, Talos. Or Mar <laughs> no, as Maria Hill and Nick Fury. But that means that Maria Hill would have also had to have been uh, someone else completely as well, because in spite, well, well, yeah, that'd be the only way to make sense to keep the secret. So, maybe Maria Hill that we've seen from 2014 as well has also been Talos' wife, I think. So that's another bigger theory that's been going around. But that would also mean that Nick Fury would have had to tell uh, Talos about everything that had happened in Winter Soldier up until that point so that they know how or how to fix or change or do any situation from there on out he would have to be ha he'd have to have access to all of the other files in Dick Fury's personal vault or whatever he has that keeps his files on every I guess Avenger so Talos would have to have that to figure out and communicate with these people and figure out what's been happening the past couple 
like years um, because I'm pretty sure in Winter Soldier um, Nick Fury because he got rid of well they said he got rid of the eye patch and then just went to some sunglasses then went back to the eye patch in Avengers Age of Ultron but then you see him at the end of Spider-Man Far From Home on the end credit scene with him on Talos' ship with the eye patch again so I don't know some things are kind of weird but if you if you try to fill in the gaps him being a, uh, a scroll being this whole time actually would make some sense there are some things that need to be filled in the gaps but for right now that's the current theory for Marvel so basically Nick Fury and I guess Maria Hill were around the same time as uh, Captain Marvel all the way through I think Iron well well, mostly Nick Fury, but and then Iron Man 2, then the Avengers, then all the stuff went down in Captain America Winter Soldier, and I guess Maria Hill, maybe she retired, and they just brought in the two new ones as Nick Fury and Maria Hill to think it as nothing happened. And after that, they, they just kind of gathered information about these people, about what, have, what has happened in the past couple decades, and that's it. So that begs the question. When Nick Fury and Maria Hill were vanished from the snap in Avengers Infinity War, that might have just been um that might have just been Talos and his wife. But even if that was the case, don't you think they would have changed back into their scroll forms? Probably not, but I don't know. Then when they were brought back, they went to the funeral in Avengers Endgame, and they're like, oh, okay, so... Because, I mean, and maybe Captain Marvel knew too, but I don't know. That's, that, that's the thing. That's, it's, an, it's, a, it's a theory that is still need to be worked on. Worked on. No, it needs to be worked on a little bit, but that's, I guess, the main theory right now. Ever since 2014... Uh, Dick Fury's been a scroll, and he will continue to be a scroll until, I guess, I think they're supposed to do a TV show or uh, either a new movie on Disney Plus called Marvel's Secret Invasion, which is supposed to be all about the scrolls. So you don't know if all the people you've been seeing up, up until this point have been scrolls or not, which is kind of strange and weird to think about. But the whole Nick Fury thing, now granted, Nick Fury is not dead. If you go watch Spider-Man Far From Home, and you watch the end credits, you will see that Nick Fury is on the Skrull's ship. My question is, why is he there? How long has he been there? Because there's no way he just decided to work this much on S.H.I.E.L.D. and just say, you know what, I'm going to take a vacation up in space. He, he's got to be, he must have been up there for a very long time. But that's my theory. That's the current MCU theories on it, or MCU fans theory on it as well. So, with that being said, if you guys like this video, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this video and this theory. Remember to share this video with your friends and family. And for today's question of the day, what do you think about this theory? Do you think it is, do you think that Nick Fury has been a scroll since 2014?